But the hood is now off, and I have a hernia. Welcome back to another video on the Alls 3 Garage channel. Today, Dave and I, we actually stopped and at Home Depot. Uh, unfortunately, we hit a rainstorm, but we got four by fours and a bunch of two by fours. And if you guys watched any of the old videos, you know we must be building something, right? So today, we, what we figured we'd do is we're gonna pull off the hood of the truck, but we gotta have a bracket and a rolly cart to sit it on so that way we can roll it around just like our sleepers are sitting and everything else so that way it makes it a lot easier to do body work on it as well as we've got some big surprises coming for the hood itself so got to stay tuned and watch that but it's got to come off the truck first may have to do with some panels from truck shrouds and a whole lot of rivets so that's all i'm going to tell you but let's go ahead and get this wood unloaded and see if we can't get that dolly cart made here in a quick amount of time because dave is quite the expert at doing that so <laughs> let's do it got it off uh, it's pretty pretty easy we've done that a couple times so uh, it's not too hard but it's actually a really nice bumper got a little bit of you know I guess surface rust or, or it's not just like where the I bolts mean, were sitting mainly but you yeah. know that's given where we run up here in the Northeast that's that's gonna happen with the road salt and stuff yeah but it's a, I mean really nice bumper it weighs a lot <laughs> okay. I think this truck has in store a bumper like this one down yeah. here so yep, we're gonna get another Another one of those, maybe with the flip kit, so that way we don't bend them up. Yeah. Can't tell you how many those bumpers we go through. A we've lot. got uh, we've got at least one on order each each month with the guys up at Chrome Depot, but not with this one. No excuses yeah. when we put a flip kit on it. And we did notice um, this piece where the bumper bolts up to. You can see it's uh, cracked. Yeah, right these there. horns always tend to break on the older yeah, trucks. Yeah, we did have one on the silver truck break, and we had a guy come out and he. I think this, well, it was completely off. This bottom piece was completely off, and he just kind of welded on a new piece. So, but this one doesn't look too bad. You could probably weld that up right there. You know what I think that means? What? I think we need to get ourselves a nice welder, start doing this ourselves. <laughs> yeah, probably should, but it's nice to have that off. And now it's time to build our stand or, or cart, whatever. <laughs> I think first we should probably take off these headlights, at least eliminate some of the weight on this hood. I mean, they are, the headlights are pretty heavy themselves. One down, the other one to go. Note to self, when you're banging on the hood, make sure your finger's not in the way. Now I'm gonna have probably no nail in that finger. These ones look good, but the other ones will look better. All right, yeah, I think these ones definitely look a little bit better there. <laughs> Dang, dude, imagine that thing all polished up, painted. Yeah. Wow, there you go. There's a little glimpse of what it's gonna look like. Kind of, it's got definitely got that 359 vibe, old school vibe with those headlights. Yeah. But I like them. Yeah, it's gonna look awesome. But we are going to, we're not gonna trash these. Don't worry, we're not gonna trash them. We're actually gonna, you know, redo all of it, do all the studs over and all the, like the, the things that hold the lights in. Yeah, the internal um, buckets there. Internal buckets and everything. And we'll keep them on the shelf for spare because, you know, we got a lot of these Peterbelts in line to be worked on. So those will come in handy. Always good to have spares.
So we figured we'd use our little persuader after our poor attempts of doing this on the silver truck when we redid that one. A um, little heat always helps. Second fender is off. We just got this fender off right here and it makes this hood really just a heck of a lot easier to move being that we got access to the points right here. There's these two uh, pivots on each end where it mounts up to the actual frame horn right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out. We did mock up, well, hillbilly mocked up. We got our rigid boxes under there with a piece of plywood. So when this whole hood falls forward, it's gonna fall on that. Give us enough room to disconnect the springs and then we can move the hood out a little bit until we can uh, turn it back down and build our cart with all the wood. So let's go ahead and give this a shot and see if it works. There's what's left of a bushing. Maybe that would cause some rattle and some excessive wear on the hood, especially at the top panels up there where it sits on the bushings on the cowl. It's all stress cracked, so you know, not having correct bushings in place might uh, might help prevent that. So one pin out, one more to go. So Dave and I discovered that if you're ever looking for a way to put your springs on the hood, uh, coat hanger works really nice. I heard uh, DOTs really lax the rules, and uh, this is what this is what they recommend now. So, you know, you didn't hear it here, but I guess this kind of works as well. I almost swore, I'm not gonna do that. Don't want YouTube coming after me. But the hood is now off, and I have a hernia. Dave, what kind of mess did you get us in, man? Me, you're the one that wanted to do that tonight. I think we're gonna be down for a few days after that. But the hood though, I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. We definitely have a lot of repair work to do. Some of these brackets up here you can see is, uh, Oh, don't want to move in that much. We're kind of screwed up. And then also down here, this pin uh, kind of ate away. Major oil leak and kind of ate away there. So we're going to have to order a new panel right here. Uh, if you guys stay tuned, we got a big shipment coming in from Truck Shrouds. So we'll be doing a lot of work to this hood. A lot of work. It's taller than you, dude. Guys, so Dave, we got a lot accomplished tonight. We got this big hood off this truck. Um, this is the extended hood, so it's about 127 inches, and it weighs a ton. And Dave and I have doctor's appointments tomorrow to go get our hernias checked, so that's always a good thing. But the main part is it's off. We got to finish putting those dash panels. I know we've been saying that, and we're going to put the dash panels in it, but now that the hood's off, 
this is a perfect opportunity to, to, to drive it on outside, get everything power washed off, make sure it's cleaned up right, and then we can roll it back in here and start all of our body work and putting these panels on. Once we get all those panels on, then we can start really wrapping up the inside and start getting everything back together after, after we get uh, everything all sprayed in with primer. So it's just one thing after the next. We found some damage on the hood we weren't anticipating with uh, that side piece being cracked the top panels being cracked from uh, just moving moving around. It is 30 years old, so we did expect that, but it's like every corner you turn with these old things, it's always something else. But we're gonna put it back together so this truck looked better than it did the day it rolled off the showroom floor. So if you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel and also turning on that bell notification so you guys get notified every time we post a video. Trust me, you don't wanna miss anything with this rat rod truck right now. It does look pretty cool. But we're going to make it look a heck of a lot cooler when we get everything finished up with this. So you don't want to miss it. Also, check out the Instagram. We like to post a little teaser photos in there before we post it on YouTube. So I guess, guys, this is going to be it. And we'll catch you guys all in the next one. And remember, keep them wheels rolling.